Perfect. And then, yeah, if it's too, if you can't hear me, because I usually wear my earphones, but I don't have them today. So if you can't hear me, just unmute yourself and, and let me know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to get started on our back today, laying down. And if you want, you can have your knees bent to support your low back or uh, feel free to extend your legs coming into more of a Shavasana type posture. And we'll just start by placing our right hand on the belly, left hand over the heart. And starting to notice where our body meets the mat. Noticing where the ground meets your toes, the back of your legs, your hips, your upper back and head. Let your body just start to sink into the ground. Closing your eyes here and noticing how your belly rises as you inhale and falls as you exhale. Take this moment to check in with yourself Noticing how your breath is. Are you breathing into your chest? Or are you breathing into your belly? Notice your heart rate. Is it steady? Or are you feeling kind of unsettled? And wherever you are, keeping the eyes closed, start to windshield wiper your legs side to side. So if they're extended out in your, your uh, Shavasana, bending the knees so your, your feet are flat against the mat and then rocking the knees side to side, letting them fall over one way and then the next, letting your hips come off the mat as you do this. So just opening up those hips, moving through any tension you may be feeling. And just start to notice where it feels tight, where it feels loose. Where do we need to spend our attention on today? And then from here, extending the left leg out, tucking the right knee into the chest, grabbing that knee and starting to do circles with that knee in one way. And then after doing a couple rounds of that, Direction, switching directions with that right knee and trying to keep both hips static on the mat as you do this. Noticing your head posture, have you cranked in your neck or are you tucking your chin down to create that length along your spine? And then switching knees, extending your right leg out, tucking the left knee into the chest and drawing those circles again. Keeping those hips planted firmly as you can finding that range of motion in that left hip. And then going the opposite direction. So doing those opposite circles. Like you're drawing a big zero in the air with that knee. And then tucking both knees into the chest, rocking side to side on your back, opening up the back body and rolling all the way onto your side and up into our seated posture. From here, crossing your legs, tucking the chin down just to kind of bring length. So noticing just kind of pulling the head back a bit, finding length along the spine. And we'll inhale to reach the arms up to the sky. As you exhale, reach the left arm a bit forward in front of that left knee, and then reach down with that right hand kind of in front of you right now. Doing this so you can feel a stretch along the back of your right side of your body and the side body of the right side. So kind of lean towards the left and forward to really open that side of uh, your body. You're just breathing into your belly here. Breathe. 
as you exhale, walking your hands forward, so you're coming into uh, a forward fold here. Give me one second. I believe I have a package. I have one of those too, so no need to apologize. <laughs> yeah. And then from here, we'll walk our hands over towards the right. So hands kind of leaning over towards the right and towards the front. And then your left hand can kind of come in front of you. And again, we're focusing on the back, left, and side of our body here. Breathing deeply into the belly. As we do this, we have to relax those muscles. Noticing your inhales and exhales. Noticing how it feels as you sink a bit deeper, perhaps. So perhaps as you exhale, you feel yourself bending a bit further towards the right and down. And then from here, walking your hands back to center again. Maybe this time you can come down all the way to your forearms, rounding your spine and looking down. And maybe rocking side to side a bit, keeping those arms static, just noticing how your back body feels. And then coming to the static position, pushing yourself back up into seated, and we'll come forward into a uh, all fours position. And from here, we're gonna be doing something a bit different. So with your hands on the mat, walking your knees and feet out a bit so that your feet are facing the side. And we're, kind of, we're going to be coming into a deep, a deep hip opener. So walking your hands forward from here, and then maybe coming onto your forearms, and really here focusing on opening your hips. And you can stay static here, or if you want, you can rock front and back, finding that opening in those hips. And you know, only going as so far as that feels comfortable, like that you know, it's giving you a stretch, but it's not painful. We want to open the fascia of our hips. We don't want to harm them. And then breathing into your hips as you do this. Noticing as we continue to stay here, it might get a little more intense. So breathing deeply. And then from here, pushing yourself back up onto all fours. And then we'll walk our knees back into center. Staying in our tabletop position, we'll do a couple cat cows. So dropping the belly, looking up into our cow pose. And as we exhale, coming into our cat curl, navel the spine, tucking our chin down. Inhaling back into our cow, looking up, pulling the shoulder blades together. And as we exhale, sinking back into that cat. From here, walking your hands all the way forward to come onto all fours and sinking down into a cobra. So all the forearms on the mat, pulling those shoulder blades together, chest is off the mat. Then as you exhale, sinking down onto the mat, letting that chest fall. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, you can lift the chest, pull the shoulder blades back into our sphinx. Then exhale to drop the chest down. Inhaling one more time, lifting the chest, holding that six pose, and exhale, coming all the way back down. Placing both hands on either side of your chest, tuck those toes under, and we're going to come right back into a downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet here, noticing if you're holding tension in your calves. As we sit, we tend to hold tension, even exercises like running can be quite intense on our calves or biking because we're strongly using those muscles. They're supporting our legs all day long. And then from your finding a static position, maybe bending your knees to bring your thighs toward your belly and then straightening them again to open up a bit deeper. 
Taking one deep inhale. As you exhale, coming forward, we're gonna sweep right into an upward facing dog. So letting your toes come down from the mat, opening to the chest. And as you exhale, just coming back into your downward facing dog. We'll do this one more time. Inhaling to come forward to upward facing dog. And sweep the chest through. And exhale, send you back to that downward facing dog. From here, sinking the right ankle down, lifting the left leg up towards the sky, bending that left knee and letting that leg fall over towards the right. We're opening through that right hip here. Maybe your arms are starting to get a bit tired, starting to draw circles with that left leg, with that left knee in the air, opening that left hip. Taking one last deep inhale as you exhale, bring that left foot forward in between your hands. And then rising all the way up, pivoting on the back foot, reaching both arms up towards the sky in your warrior one. The warrior one, trying to find our hips square to the front of the room, your back leg, you might want to walk out towards the right a bit and sinking in to that warrior one. Inhale deep here as you exhale, straighten that front leg, pivot the back foot, cartwheel the arms up towards the side. Looking to the front here, inhaling deeply. And as you exhale, tilt the right hip back, reach forward with your left hand, and then drop in your left hand down, right arm reaches up towards the sky, trikonasana. Opening that up. And then you're looking up towards your right hand. The focus here really is to stack your shoulders on top of one another. It's not to get your hand to the bottom of your mat, to really to open those hips and those shoulders. Taking one last deep inhale. As you exhale, cartwheeling the arms back up. From here, pivoting the left foot in, so we're in a wide-legged stance. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, pulling those shoulder blades together. So you exhale, folding forward. We'll be finding a bend in those knees. You may want to take your hands down to the mat. What we're really doing here is finding an opening in our calves and hamstrings. So finding that stretch, maybe you want to go pigeon toed with your feet so that your toes are facing inward and your ankles are facing out. Bending into that so you can feel a stretch on the outside of your calves and of your hamstrings. You may want to play around with this of walking your hands forward or back, whatever gives you a better stretch here. So wherever you are, we're going to actually walk our hands forward just a bit so that our torso is coming out slightly from our hips. And from here, we're going to drop the belly just a bit. So play around with your shoulder blades. So pulling the shoulder blades together as we inhale. And as we exhale, pulling them apart, coming into kind of like a cat back. And as we inhale, dropping the belly a bit. It's very subtle movement. And exhaling to come into a cat back. Pulling the shoulder blades apart. One last time, inhaling to drop the belly, maybe looking up a bit. Shoulder blades come together, and as you exhale into that cat. Now, from here, walking the hands back to center, we're going to walk them over just a bit towards the right as we bend into our right knee, coming into Skandasana. So, flexing that left foot. If you can come onto your heel on the right side, that's awesome. If you can't, as I cannot, <laughs> staying here, you can keep your hands on the ground if you'd like, or coming into this prayer here, balancing, opening to the left inside of the leg. Breathing deeply. If you'd like, you can actually come into a twist as well, placing the right hand on the mat, reaching the left arm up and over towards the left. Wherever you are, placing both hands in front of you again, using both your hips and your hands to push yourself back into that wide legged forward fold. And then bending into the left knee, this time walking your hands over towards the left, and not on the opposite side. So again, if you can place your foot down, that's amazing. If not balancing on the ball of your foot. Either here, two variations, flexing this right foot as much as you can, and either coming into a prayer arms, which is very hard to balance, or a twist with the left hand down towards the mat, and then right arm reaching up and over towards the right, finding a bit of twist here. Breathing deeply. Dropping the right hand down. 
Again, walking yourself back into that wide legged forward fold, pushing yourself back here. You may want to play around with your hips. Notice how this feels. Just playing around with bending one leg and then the other, just opening those hips. From here, placing both hands on your hips, engaging through your core, bending your knees, and then rising all the way up into a standing position. Pivoting on both feet so you're facing forward now. And we're going to slowly start to come all the way onto our left foot. So we're lifting up with the right leg and then coming into a chair with a figure four. So bending into the left knee, crossing the right foot over top and coming into a chair variation. Sitting back into our chair, bending that left knee, but also finding a stretch in our right hip here. Engage into your core, breathing deep. Holding here for three, two, one, then rising up, keeping this uh, right foot off the mat, grabbing the inside of that right toe and extending it out towards the right, maybe opening your left arm out to the side as well. Kind of looking like this. Opening through these hips, holding here for three, two, one, and then this time, not letting it go down to the mat right away, but reaching your left, your right leg behind you, stepping the right foot back, and then dropping that knee. So dropping the knee, placing hands on your hips, engaging through your core, finding some length in the spine, and then leaning forward into that hip, opening that right quad. Opening here, you may even want to place your left hand on your hip, and then reach the right arm up and over towards the left to also get a side bend here as we're in this hip opener. Breathing dip, maybe looking up towards your right hand. And then dropping the hand down. And if he's like straightening this left foot, this left knee, folding forward, coming into our half splits. Breathing deep here. Into those hips, finding an opening in your left calf and hamstring, opening that hip. From here, your hands already placed on the inside of that left foot. We'll bend into that left knee. Hands come beside that left foot. Tuck the back toes under and step the left foot back to meet the right. Coming back into a downward facing dog. Pounding up the feet, perhaps. Taking one large deep inhale. As we exhale, get coming forward into an upward facing dog, sweeping right into that upward facing dog. Then exhaling to come back into your downward facing dog. Breathing deep. One more time. Taking deep inhale as you exhale, coming forward into your upward facing dog. Opening those hips and those shoulders. And then exhale, descend it back. Downward facing dog. This time, sinking your left heel into the mat, lifting your right leg up towards the sky, bending that right knee, and opening that hip over towards the left. So you're opening your right hip, letting that knee fall over towards the left. Keeping your torso facing forward as much as you can. And breathing deep. Starting to do circles with that right foot. Opening that hip. One last deep inhale as you exhale, coming forward, stepping that right foot in between your hands, rising up, pivoting on your back feet. Arms come up toward the ceiling, coming into our warrior two. So your left, left foot is facing forward, kind of diagonally to the top left side of your mat. Arms are reaching up towards the sky. Inhaling deeply. And as you exhale, pivot on the back foot, straighten that front leg. Arms curl out towards the side, finding the preparation for our triangle. And again, as you inhale, reaching forward, tilting the left hip back. As you exhale, dropping the right hand down, left arm reaches up towards the sky in our triangle pose. As always, we're just trying to stack those shoulders on top of one another, finding and opening the shoulders and the hips. Finding that motion, breathing deep. Holding it for three, 
two, one, the car rolling the arms all the way up, bending into, so uh, taking that right foot so that it um, is pivoted towards the side of the mat. And again, we're in our wide-legged posture. From here, this time we're actually going to take our hands, clasp them behind us, open to the chest, as we exhale, fold forward. So that our hands come behind us and we find an opening in our shoulders as well. Breathing into your hips. Holding here for three, two, one, unclasping your hands and letting them fall to your low back. And then on your hips, engage into your core, lifting all the way up into your wide legged posture again. Pivoting both your feet to the front of the room, bending into that right knee a bit, coming all the way forward, lifting the back foot off the mat. And again, we're gonna come into our chair pose, but on one foot. So bending into that right knee and lifting the left ankle on top of that thigh. Maybe placing hands in prayer. So we're in our, our combination of chair and figure four pose. So get into your core, you're finding opening in that left hip. Breathing deeply. Feeling that prana, that shake, as your glutes work, your core works, all those muscles are in tandem together. Maybe try to sit a bit deeper back. And then rising up here, keeping that right foot floated clasping in between these toes here, and then extending the left leg out towards the side, maybe reaching the right arm out towards the other side. Help keep that balance here. Open here, holding for three, two, one, then stepping the left foot back and dropping the left knee down. Coming into, again, this uh, figure four, engaging through the core, straightening the spine and leaning forward. Opening that left quad and hip flexor, finding what feels good there, maybe playing around the placement or how much you're leaning forward. And if you want, you can place your right hand on your hip and reach using your left hand, doing a side bend over towards the right to open that left hip a bit more. Maybe looking up towards your left hand. Breathing deep here. And on your next exhale, straightening that right leg folding forward into our half splits. Open that calf, that hamstring, flexing the right foot, pointing it behind you, and breathing into your hips. Keeping a long spine here, noticing how this feels. And then when you're ready, bending into that front knee again, actually walking it over towards the right a bit. We're gonna tuck the back toes under, keeping the hands or your fingers flat still on the mat. We're gonna step the left foot up to meet the left, so to meet the right, into our malasana, into our froggy pose. So I'll turn so you can see me. We're in our froggy pose, you're placing hands in prayer so that your elbows push against your right and left knee to help open those hips. Breathing deep here. So I'm saying how your hips are <laughs> maybe enjoying this or maybe they're complaining. Just taking stock of how it all feels. And then from wherever you are in your malasana, whether your hands are in prayer or not, we're going to slowly place our hands on the mat and rise all the way up into a forward fold. So we're rising into a forward fold here. Maybe walking the feet forward uh, together a bit. You may want to clasp opposite arms and rock side to side. Here we're finding an opening in our low back, our hamstrings. Opening this up. From here, finding stillness. We'll inhale to halfway lift, and exhale to fold all the way down. And then root to rise, circle the arms all the way up to the sky. Reach, 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 and exhale, hands down to heart center. 
we're going to do a couple rounds of doing some deep breaths with our folding. So in the interest of gaining some more energy, we'll inhale to reach the arms all the way up to the sky again. As we exhale, we'll dramatically exhale and fold forward. Notice how that feels. Inhaling to rise all the way up again. Reach, 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 and exhale, folding all the way down. And doing this in a dramatic fashion, inhaling again. Feeling the lungs reaching all the way up and exhale, dropping all the way down. One last time, inhaling super deep into the belly as much as you can. And exhale, fold all the way down. From here, bending the knees, planting the palms, and stepping just the left foot back, dropping the knee, walking the right um, foot forward a bit, so towards the left, so towards the right a bit, coming into our lizard posture. So you may want to step this left foot back as much as you can, open into that left hip. From here, maybe placing your right hand on that right hip, pushing it a bit open to open it deeper. Breathing deep here. Noticing how that feels. Breathing deep. You may want to come into a different lucid variation where your hands are all the way on the mat, or if that's too much staying here in this posture. From here, tucking the left toes under, keeping the left hand planted on the mat, lifting the back knee, and then reaching the right arm up towards the sky. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Finding an opening there. From here, lifting off the mat slightly with that left hand, hands coming into prayer, and then finding the prayer where your left hand is at the top of your right, uh, right <laughs> knee. Opening in this twist. Breathing deep. From here, rising all the way up, arms carved out towards the side in a bit of a twist. And then coming back to forward, hands on the hips. We'll step the left foot up to meet the right. So now we're in a standing posture, drawing some circles with our hips here as we're in our standing posture. Moving it all about, <laughs> opening those hips. From here, finding stillness. And again, we're going to do a couple more rounds of inhaling and getting our energy out. <laughs> so inhaling to reach the arms up to the sky, and exhale, fold all the way down dramatically. <laughs> Breathe it all out. Inhaling to reach up to the sky, exhale, fold it down. Inhaling one last time, reach it all the way up and exhale. This time, bending the knees, placing the hands on the mat and stepping just the right foot back. Hands come planted, dropping the right knee down, walking the left foot out. Coming into lizard on the opposite side. Breathing into your hips here. Noticing how this feels. You may want to come onto the knife edge of your left foot. Using your left hand to open that left hip of it. Finding a deeper opening here. Breathing deep. If you want, you can also come into the variation where your hands, your forearms are all the way down on the mat. Deeper opening in that hip or stay where you like. But it's always breathing into those hips, keeping a long spine. From here, planting the left foot flat on the mat if it's bent towards the side, tucking the back toes under, lifting the right knee off the mat, and twisting over towards the left, keeping the right palm planted, reach the left arm up and over towards the left. Breathing deep here. From wherever you are, slowly lifting that right hand off the mat, coming into prayer but keeping that twist, twisting over towards the left, your right elbow is by your left knee. Twisting here. Engaging through your core, noticing that bit of a burn. 
Holding it for three, two, one, then rise all the way up, arms curl up to the side, twisting over towards the left. And then coming back to center, hands maybe on hips. And then stepping the right foot up to meet the left. And again, circling those hips. <laughs> Find that range of motion there. From here, one last time, we're going to inhale to reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring it all down. From here, bending the knees and stepping or hopping your way, your feet to the back of the mat in your plank pose. Inhaling to circle, to come into your upward facing dog. And exhale, letting the knees fall into the mat, coming into your child's pose. Sending the hips back. Reaching the arms up towards the top of the mat. Breathing into your belly here. Coming back to center and noticing how your heart rate is now, where your energy is at. Noticing how you feel. From our child's pose, pushing yourself up into a seated position. And then extending your legs out in front of you and coming to lie all the way down onto your back. From here, bending your knees so that you, your fingertips can just touch the bottom of your ankles. From here, engaging your core, lifting your low back off the mat, coming into bridge. Opening your hips here. And if you want, you can clasp your hands together, tuck your shoulder blades under and open through the chest as well. Holding here for three, two, one, and exhale to slowly lower all the way down, unclasping those hands as you come down. From here, we'll take a couple final postures uh, and a figure four of your choice. So we can take a figure four that is where you take one ankle, cross it over on top of the opposite thigh, and then pull in your thighs towards your chest. Or you can just cross your knees one on top of the other and clasp your feet and pull them in to find that glute stretch. So whichever one you feel resonates more with you right now for a glute stretch, as everyone's bodies are different, that means different stretches and different poses feel different for everyone. So taking something that you feel good for you. And then switching sides. So doing the opposite side, whichever posture you did, whether that is just crossing knees over one on top of one another, or you're doing a figure four, where you're crossing one ankle on top of the other thigh and using your hands to pull in the thigh to your chest. If you're taking a figure four uh, where you're crossing your ankle over your thigh, remember to flex that foot of the leg that's having the glute stretched because we want to protect our knee. And by flexing that foot, we can help Make sure that there's no torsion in that, in that knee. Again, breathing into the belly. When you feel you've had a great glute stretch, your glute is nice and open, I welcome you to find any final posture before Shavasana that you feel your body needs. Perhaps that is a happy baby where you're bending your knees slightly, clasping the outside of each foot and maybe rocking side to side. Or perhaps that is another bridge or perhaps a twist or maybe you want to do legs up the wall or a shoulder stand if that's in your practice. Whatever you feel is going to serve you today. Breathing deep wherever you are.
and then coming into your final resting pose, Javasana. Letting yourself sink into the mat and completely relax. Slowly starting to wake up, keeping the eyes closed, maybe rocking your head side to side, waking up to the back of your head and your neck. Coming back into the space, rolling over onto one side. And then pushing all the way up into the seated position. Taking a moment to notice where your breath is today, where it has landed. Maybe placing one hand on the heart and just taking one breath to yourself. Now, maybe placing your hands at heart center on your knees. As we close out today's practice, as always, thanking yourself for showing up on the mat, taking some time for some movement, uh, take time out for your body, your mind, and your soul, all of it combined. <laughs> and thank you for allowing me to be your guide to guide you through today's practice. It's always been such a joy. Have a great weekend. Namaste. Thank you. That was awesome. Have a great weekend. Yeah. You as well. Have a great weekend.